Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get started with Glide. So let's get started. Since I already made my own account, it's written here, Open Glide. If you are new to Glide, it will ask you to sign up first. And here is our interface. So you can create your own new app from here, but it will be from scratch. So in case you are interested to uh, use one of the preset templates, just click on this on the top left corner. Then choose templates. And choose the one that suits you the most. So there are many designs here as well as different topics. So here we will choose the rooms reservation. And you can preview the template before using it. Here I will just immediately press on create this app. And it usually takes less than a minute to load. Now it will ask you this question, so just press on copy. And it will take around a minute to load. Here is how the interface look like. The most important features in uh, Glide is the top menu here. It's composed of three major components. The first one is the layout, which is set by default. It shows you how your application looks like. You can interact as if you are a, a user, an ordinary user. You can just navigate across the application and see what it contains. The next tab, which is on the left, the data, it controls all the raw information. So you can edit any text here. You can edit the images. Let's say I double clicked on this and pressed on this. Then it gives me three options, either to upload an image or to select from URL or from the stock image provided by Glide. So I can change any raw data from here. While the third tab, which is actions, it forms a sequence of steps that can be performed when an, a user uh, when a user interact with your application. So let's see by pressing on new action here, there is um, an action which already exists. If a user contact uh, connected with a room, it will show him a link containing an image. So if we return back to layout and we clicked on any room, it will show him an image with some information. So actions basically control the sequence of steps which will happen when a user interact with your application. So you can add any new action from here. Back to layout, you can see on the left the navigation panel which shows you the components of your interface. As you can see here, it's uh, it consists of rooms which is here, reservations which are the which is the second tab here and users which is the third tab here so you can navigate from this mobile bar or you can navigate from the navigation panel like this by pressing on anything you want it also shows you the components that you selected in the interface so let's select room one you will see some changes in the components here which represents all the components in the interface so if i stopped my cursor on breadcrumbs it will show you or highlight it where it exists in the uh, interface itself so if i stop that container you will see it highlighted it in the interface here it it's also highlighted and here it's also highlighted so basically you can access on every single uh, component uh, in the interface from here so let's return back if i chose any different section like this one sorry like a different room you will find some different components so it basically consists of all the components which exist in your interface while on the right you can control the properties of these components now let's try to add some new component to this interface by clicking on the plus sign it will give you multiple options to add whatever you want. Here I will try to add a text by clicking on it. It's automatically 
added to the end. So if you want to change its sequence, you just have to drag and drop it. So by this way, you placed it on the top. So you added it, but to be able to control its format, it's done from this right menu. So if you want to change the text itself, you can change it from here. You can write heading, for example. And it has been changed successfully. You can also change its design from here. You can change the font, for example. You can change and manipulate the alignment. Great. So if I want to change this display style, all what I need to do is to just select, select it from here and I need just to scroll here and I will select this part from the components collection and here is the style. You can control the style, it, it's, it's by default, it's uh, chosen as chord, you can cho choose it as grid, you can also choose it as list, you can choose it as table, and you can choose it as checklist, it's up to you. So you can control how it's displayed from this menu after choosing the collection. Let's return it to the original one. Here you can find other properties and other formatting options like you can change the title, the description and properties and here you can even change the size of the thumbnails. You can even change their style from square to circle and here you can find all the options you want. Now let's move into set settings which controls all uh, the properties of your app. Here you can access all your settings, so you can change your name and icon and some other properties related to your profile. You can control the appearance of the app. Here you can change the color. This one is pretty good. You can also change if its uh, style is light or dark. You can change other properties related to your app and dimensions. Here you can control your privacy and you can control other app related settings. Now let's move again to the data section. As we said before, here you can control all the edits on your raw data. So if in case you want to edit on any text on of these, you can edit it. In case you want to change any image, you can do the same. And you can also add a new column here. When you add a new column, it will ask you about the name of the column plus the type of data that you want to insert. So you can insert text, number, boolean, uh, image, date, uh, date and time, and other types of data. So you decide what kind of data is. Let's say, for example, we want to insert an image. Here we go. Save. And here you can press on any cell of these and it will ask you either you want to upload your image or to get, to, to get it from URL or from the stock images which are uh, located in Glide itself. So here you can control everything related to your raw data. And here you can control your display, the properties of your display and where uh, and you can control where the collection where different uh, components of the collection exist and finally in actions you can control the sequence of steps that will uh, interact with the user during his usage of the app so basically these are all the features so that was it for our tutorial today if you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips and thank you for watching and take care